Hi guys, this is uh, Craig with BMX Club newsletter video for the week. I'm sitting here with David Pope. Is that right? Yes, Sam. All right, we're uh, just doing a quick excerpt from his business, which is a physio business, so we can support him and his support club. We might be also be doing a clinic in the future where he can help you guys out with the, uh, with the legs and things, the way you're sitting on your bike, that kind of stuff to help you out in the future. So, here over to David Pope to tell you about his business and what he does. Hey, I'm David Pope, so I'm a physio in Terrigal. I've got a practice around here and uh, treat all sorts of stuff. Shoot injuries when people fall off their bikes or they bend over at work and hurt their back or whatever it might be. So I treat a lot of that sort of thing. And then chronic stuff as well, where people come in and have been getting you know, knee pain while they're riding or they've been getting you know, a bit of back pain while they're riding or whatever it might be. So uh, yeah, I treat all that sort of stuff. All right. All right, yeah, so that sounds great. And this is the kind of thing we want to be doing here at Terrigal BMX Club from now on. We're going to support your businesses and make sure that we're supporting you as a club. And also get you on the newsletter and get you out there on the website and things like that. So if you're interested in coming down next time, come and see me and we'll get you up on the uh, stage here. Hi, I'm Christian Wong, the track manager at Terrigal BMX. I'd just like to say a big thank you to all the guys who came out and helped out the work with me this weekend. As you can see, the track is looking great and the riders are having heaps of fun. So next time we have a working beat, come down and show your support for the club. David Pope from Sports Edge Physio. I've got a couple of tips for you to help you feel good while you're riding the bike. So we're gonna focus on knee pain for this first, first episode. So today, one of the common things that you get with riding your bike is a bit of knee pain. And often it's related to how you pedal while you're on your bike. off your knee but if you have your knee and your hip and your foot in an alignment that's not ideal then it can tend to cause knee pain. So one of the common things that I see in riders is when they're when they're pedaling on their bike is that their knee tends to drift in towards the frame. And it feels sometimes like you're trying to you've got more balance because you're holding the frame with your leg. But what it does is it loads up this inside part of your knee as your knee comes in. So ideally when you're pedaling what you want is your knee, your kneecap lined up straight over the middle of your second toe, and then that's underneath your hip. So you get this nice straight line, and as you extend your leg, that all stays nicely in line. So maybe next time you're doing some slow laps, you can just get an idea or get someone to video you, and just see if your knee is nicely lined up over your feet, or as you're pedaling, does your knee tend to drift in from your foot and look like a bit of an angle like this? If it does, it's worth keeping your knee out over your foot. I'm David Pope from Sports Edge Physio in Terrigal. Just got another quick tip for you today. Today is on low back pain, and now you can keep your low back feeling good while you're riding. So what we've got here is Christian on the bike, and he's looking good, but one of the common things that causes low back pain on the bike is actually rounding your back while you're pedaling. So you often see this sort of posture of people riding, that their low back sort of, you see this rounded posture here, which is not the best position for your low back to be in, to be able to generate lots of power through your legs and it also puts a lot of stress on your low back. So ideally what we like to see on the bike and what will keep you getting lots of power out of your legs and also keep your back feeling good is if you get your a hip, what's called a hip hinge. It's like your body actually bends through your hips instead of through your back. So as you're on the pedals, you think about folding through your hips so as if your butt slips out and then you sit. that keeps this nice inward curve which is called a lordosis through your low back and then your legs will be able to generate more power um, you'll be able to your back will feel much better. So think about folding through your hips like this when you're on the bike, instead of rounding, rounding your low back like this as you're on the bike, and that'll keep your low back feeling good. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoy this tip on low back pain.